OK. Um, so ladies and gentlemen, in this case, we have a point, and we're given a slope. Now, in previous times, we've used for, um, to write the equation of a line, we used y equals mx plus b, right, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. Well, in this case, we're given a point, and we're given a slope. So what we're going to want to use is another form of an equation, which we call the point-slope form, which I wrote on your piece of paper for you, which is right here. So you can see that there's two y's and there's two x's. Well, we have the y and the x, which we're going to use to write the equation of the line. And then we have this x1 and y1, which are going to represent any point that lies on the line. So all I'm simply going to do is label this x1 and y1. And we know this is m. Now, all I simply need to do is plug those numbers into my formula. So I'll write this as y minus y1, which is 2 equals m, which is 3 fifths, times x minus x1, which is negative 5. I'd be careful with your use of parentheses. Make sure it's x minus negative 5, which is going to turn that to x plus 5. So just be careful with that. Um, now, I prefer that, uh, that you guys apply the distributive property. But writing the equation of the line like this is fine. That is the equation of the line. But if we wanted to write it in slope-intercept form, then we'd have to apply distributive property here. So you obtain y equals 3 fifths x plus um, 15, 15 fifths plus 2. Well, what's 15 divided by 5? 3. So therefore, 3 plus 2 is 5. And then it's now in slope-intercept form. I don't think I asked you to find the slope in the y-intercept of the equation of line. But if you needed to, you could say the slope is 3 fifths and the y-intercept is 5, because that is your value of b. Does that make sense, kind of? Anybody have any questions on that? It's an old Algebra 2 problem. Now, I wanted to show you guys that example, 